Hello everybody, we're just continuing our uh, testing of cartridges series. Uh, we're going to test the black gold 28 gram 7 and a half. It's clay shooting season so we're going to do a, a few of these. This is the 7 and a half and we've also got my favourite, the 28 gram 8. So we're going to test both of these for uh, penetration and pattern. I've just walked it out and I think I'm about 40 yards maybe from here but we're going to verify that with the range finder we know it's very accurate it's just as good as the wheel well we're going to do it a bang on 40 yards so we'll see what we've got here that's actually 38 from there so we'll well that's bang on 40 yards that's that's what we're looking for using my miracle cross MK60 barrels and my uh, MK38 stock. And we're going to use three quarter choke first with uh, the 28 gram 8. What I forgot to do was put my red pen and outline it rather DVD and it's, it's bloody destroyed the DVD now, but I'll do my best to get it round it and just paint an imaginary. There we are, that's the best I can do. It's a nice even spread. Uh, it's not my usual white board that I, that I like to use, which shows them better. But what we're going to do, we're going to turn it round anyway, because the exit, the holes will be a little bit bigger, so you'll be able to see the pattern better. I'll just mark it up first. Weather conditions, cold. Easy on the shoulder. Got eight pellets in the actual circle. So that is definitely a smoked clay, even at 40 yard. And uh, you can see how hard these little pellets are hitting this. Most of them stuck at the back. You can see the these little eights are absolutely flat. See the smoke at the back, so fantastic little load, very powerful. And if you look at the pellets, yeah, they're only small, but if you look at the, the damage, you know, even if only one or two hit that clay, then they'll flatten out and break it. So I've, uh, I have a lot of confidence in, uh, in this 28 gram 8. Fantastic little cartridge. Right, we're just going to go to the same spot again, 40 yards, and uh, put this black goat 7.5 through a 3 quarter choke and just uh, let's have a look at the difference in pattern and if there's any difference in penetration. I'm sure there will be, it's a bigger pellet. Right, as I say, we're at 40 yards, I'm just going to check it again. I haven't marked it, but I'm going to check it again with a rain finder. Putting the 7.5 through the 3 quarter choke. I'll just check this is on again. There we are. Bang on 40 yard again. You'll see there's slightly less pellets. Obviously there's less pellets in the seven and a half, but there's still a nice concentration of pellets where I want them on the uh, on the disc, on the clay. When we go to a seven and a half, we're looking for more hitting power anyway. At 40 yard that's there's nothing going to get through all that, but um, it's also going to ensure a confident break. And uh, even up to 45, 50 yards, you get a good break with seven and a half. There's one, two, three, there's four, five pellets struck the disc. That one's gone straight through, that one's gone straight through, that one's almost gone through. That one's gone through, and you can see there's there's a little bit more penetration on uh, on the on the disc, and uh, they've penetrated the cardboard. So I will be very confident in that being a really good kill. Now you can see it's flattened all them pellets. That's so there's more energy there. The 28 gram seven and a half is still throwing a good pattern through a three quarter choke. 45, 50 yard. I'd be confident in uh, in killing uh, killing the clay. 
is there's a bit more energy in these pellets. Ideal when you're shooting, uh, going away rabbits on the floor. Obviously, if it's you get an odd looper up in the air, if you sometimes they put a, a clay on like on uh, like that that uh, it throws a rabbit in the air all the time. We kill them with nines or eights. But when it's a going away rabbit, just showing that hard back edge of it, then I feel more confident in having a seven and a half and up to a six and a half. It's absolutely flattened the the pellets. So no doubt in my mind whatsoever, whatever they eat, they will kill it. Later on in the week, we will be showing the speed test results of these two cartridges. Although the speed tests are done with basic technology, and I am no expert with a chronograph, I think they give a good idea of how consistent these little cartridges are.